Welcome back to Fossil Five Champions. In the last episode, we got our level up battle. Oh yeah. How about the new camera? The, I'm probably gonna use. Real hard. This camera, can y'all see it? And this camera I showed you in the mirror in the other episode of my 3DS unpacking thing, case thing. Yeah, I'm probably gonna use this more because this one takes triple A's. And I barely have any. I have like 13 left and I have four. That's it, 17 right there, and that's like five uses. So, yeah. All right, let's get going. Oh, wrong place, sorry. Calaisio Museum. Welcome back, old bean. I hear you want you won the Cali So Cup. What what? Capital drop, it's a really nice spot of work. Incidentally, what does this matter? You seem rather flustered. Good heavens, you claim that Zong Zong has taken over the show's body. Now the real jaw jaw well was pretending to be Don Boneyard this whole time. Oh ho ho ho. Oh, but you are a wit, aren't you? You almost had this old man for a second. Ain't no joke, Professor. Take a look at what happened to me. Good gravy. That school moves, talks well, and simply fashioned. But this proves to me, it seems I have no little choice but to leave your tail. Although, as long as I really came back, I'm afraid he leaves us a bit of fix, just quite. If we seize your body and reclaim his shoe batters, I say it would be the right, terrible thing for this world. Look, Professor, we need to know how old Zonga Zonga was defeated the first time. How he was defeated? Oh my. Oh dear me. I'm afraid I don't know. Hold on a minute, yes? If I were to investigate there, you hear shouting outside. I say it sounds like quite a commotion outside. Something must have happened. Come on, so go, go there. Let's go there. Joe leaped into your body, you know, blah, 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 whatever. Oh, I, I don't like this part at all. My bad, I'm trying to, like, fix the camera angle. Joe Wildwest, I'm afraid I have some sad news about our champion, Sway J. I've learned that our champion is actually a member of the hated Bear Bunch Brigade. It just seems that Sway J has been running with them since the beginning. Also, Sway J has been reading their matches to be assured of victory. Our so called champion is nothing but a fraud. This cheater is hiding out somewhere with all the Bear Bunch Brigade clients. Hear me well, Sway J. I want it captured and brought to me. As long as long as he's got trick other fighters into doing his dirty work. Mm, yes, this situation must dire. I suggest the two of you make good in your escape at once. Say yourself, my friend. The announcement was a lie. That's all right, Diggity. We're on Sway J's side. Mm. We battled you in the cup, and we know you won fair by me. Oh, uh, we can't be wasting time like this. It's right, no gossip. Don, it's Don Boneyard. What is he digging doing here? I'll fill you in on the details later, kid. Right now, we gotta hurry. We gotta track down Sway J's The world of keeping trouble. I can't say I understand, but I will trust your judgment. Come on, Pauline. We should go. 
Okay, nigga digs. You've disappointed me. I trusted you, you know. Oh no! Oh, animation clip's coming up. Oh no, come on, little dude. Just come with us. Nobody will get, has to get gnarly. This is bad. We're surrounded. Wait, what will they do? What will they do? Roar! Todd, River says. Run, you guys, run now! I'll take care of these guys. Hey, so remember when I said I wanted to run because I was worried about you? Well, that's not quite true. I actually wanted to run because I was afraid. I've run from a lot of things, you know, hang back and let you do all the hard stuff. You were always so brave, Soito. You took everything, no matter how scary it was. And then Pauline took off her mask and Rupert stood up to his father and I realized I was a coward. Made me feel ashamed. But I'm done running. No more fake stomach aches for me. You're my best friend, Soito. I'm gonna save you. All right, animation clip. Go already. Todd can do this. We must believe in him. Bring it on, chumps. All right, in the next episode, we'll just come talk more. Actually, I was talking. I must admit, there's something of an amazing story. I believe you, and yet I find it hard to imagine Joe's body as being controlled over an ancient sorcerer, or that bouncing skull is actually the real Joe Wild West. It's a shame the cup was being held for such a nefarious person. All right, I'm not gonna talk about this. Like, I'll skip it. See ya, because I need to save.